Alrighty, children, welcome, welcome to class. Um, as you have already noticed, I am not here with you, but I am here in spirit. Um, this is your first taste of virtual Miss Rich teaching um, to you. So uh, things you should have already done today, you were supposed to do a first semester reflection at the beginning of class. So if you haven't already done that, maybe pause the video right here and then um, do that reflection and then turn that in for me. And then let's get to taking some notes. So you should have this page of notes in front of you. Um, we have done a lot of writing equations up until this point. Uh, we are going to continue writing equations. And you should have gotten a table of contents. If you didn't, um, please raise your hand and then the sub can get you another one of those. This will be the first page in your new table of contents, so you can write that down. Um, so we're going to do a little review before we get into kind of some of the new stuff. So let's look at the warm-up. Uh, number one says to write the equation of the line with a slope of negative 3 and a y-intercept of 0, 2. So um, I'm sure a lot of you have probably already written this on your paper as I'm looking at this problem. But if we recall our slope-intercept form of an equation, which is y equals mx plus b, we know that our m is our slope and our b is our y-intercept. So with those two pieces of information, we can very easily write um, our equation being y equals negative 3x plus 2, where negative 3 is our slope and our 2 is our y-intercept. Uh, number two, same kind of deal here. Write the equation of the line with a slope of one half and a y-intercept of zero, comma negative four. So we have y equals. We look for our slope, which it tells us is one half x, and then our y-intercept is negative four. Okay. So then it asks us what two pieces of information were we given in the problems above. So. Um, we are given two different numbers here, which were the two numbers we need to find our slope-intercept form of our equation. So those two numbers then, of course, were the slope and the y-intercept. Very good. So. Everything that we've done up until this point, I've been nice and given you the slope and the y-intercept. Um, now we're going to look at some problems where we are not given the y-intercept. Instead, we are given some random point on the line. So I asked you, can you write the equation if you are given the slope and some random point? And why, yes, you can. And we're going to try it together, even though I'm not here with you together. But you're going to try it together with each other. So, uh, number one says, write the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and goes through the point 4, 6. Now I ask you, what two pieces of information were you given? Well, you were given the slope, so you know the slope is 2. Okay? And we know that the line goes through or contains the point 4, 6. So if it contains this point and has a slope of 2, what information do we need to find in order to write our equation? So as you recall from up above, in our, stand, in our slope intercept form, we need this slope, which we have, but we also need b, our y-intercept. So that's what we're going to have to find here. We need to find our y-intercept. So let's think about this. The whole reason we write our equations is because we're trying to write our rule that describes some pattern. Okay? And so our rules that we write um, hold true for any single point on that line. If you remember when we looked at tables at the very beginning of the year, we wrote a rule that would give us from one number in the table to the other number in the table. So it would take us from our x number to our y number using that rule. So we're going to do the same thing here. We have an x number and a y number. So our x is our 4 and our y is our 6. 
We also know the change, okay? That's our two. Now we need to find our birthday or our y-intercept. So if we take our initial equation form, y equals mx plus b, okay, we know how many letters up here. We have values to substitute in for how many letters. Well, we have our m, and then we have this little point over here that can be used for x and y. So we know that m is equal to 2, and we know that some point x, y is 4, 6. So we know that that point 4, 6 is on our, on our line. So here we go. We can plug each of these numbers into our equation to solve for our b. So we have y is our 6. So 6 equals our m is our slope 2. Our x is our 4. And of course, we're solving for b because that is the number we don't know. All right, so to solve an equation for a variable, we've done this plenty of times, you first need to combine like terms. So where do I see like terms? I see them on the right-hand side with the 2 and the 4. So what is 2 times 4? I just heard you. Everyone yelled 8. 8 plus b. Then I ask you, how do I get b by itself? Very good. You subtract 8 from both sides. And sorry I didn't give you enough room there, but you would see that 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Those cancel, so negative 2 equals b. Are we done? What did, the what did the question ask you for? It wanted us to write the equation. So now that we have our b and our m, this is as easy as the problems we did at the very beginning. So we have y equals... 2x minus 2. And that is our equation of the line. All right, we're going to scroll down just a little bit and we're going to try another one together. So this one asks us to write the equation of a line that has a slope of 1 half and goes to the point negative 6, comma 3. So we know that our slope is one half and the point that it gives us is negative six three and you if you on your paper can define each of these things okay if you can write this on your paper each time it'll make your job a lot easier because then when you're plugging in to your slope intercept form you know exactly where all the pieces go so our y is our 3, so 3 equals our m is our 1 half, x is negative 6, and we're trying to find our birthday. So we first combine the 1 half and negative 6, so 1 half of negative 6 is negative 3 plus b. Now we want to get b by itself. So we add 3 to both sides since it's being subtracted. We do the opposite. And you get 6 is equal to b. Am I done? No, I'm not done. I now need to write my equation with the new information I have. So y equals 1 half x plus 6. All right. Hopefully at this point you are um, catching on little by little okay we're going to do a couple more together before you guys try these on your own okay so let's turn to the back page now if you will all go with me there and um, this one asks us to write the equation of a line with a slope of two-thirds and goes through the point negative three negative four so we know that our slope our m is two-thirds and we have some point x, y that's equal to negative 3, negative 4. So we can plug in into our equation y equals mx plus b. 
our y is our negative 4. Our slope is 2 thirds. Our x is negative 3. And we're trying to solve for b. So first I multiply 2 thirds times negative 3, or I ask you what is 2 thirds of 3, which is negative 2 plus b. Then I need to get b by itself. So I have to move the negative 2 to the other side. And how do I do that? Well, I do the opposite of whatever is being done to it here. So I add 2. You get negative 2 is equal to b. So now I have my slope, and I have my y-intercept, and I can write the whole equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. Very good. I can see you all working so hard right now. I can just imagine it. You're being great. So we have three more to do, and then you will get a chance to do your homework. All right, so let's look at the next one. What two pieces of information are we given? Well, we know that our slope in this one is negative 2, and our x and y is negative 1, comma, 7. So if we plug in to our slope-intercept equation, You can plug in your m and then you can plug in your point for your x and y. Hello, Miss Beezer. So nice of you to join our broadcast. Hello, Miss Rich. You must be in New Mexico at this point. I'm not in New Mexico. I'm just downtown. You're just downtown. <laughs> You're in Quintero Centro. I'm in Quintero Al Centro. So I bet you're really happy because I bet the kids are behaving so well right now. They are appreciating all the effort you put in so that the math learning would not stop. Aren't you guys? They're definitely appreciating it right now. They're I'm kind loving of it. If there's video on this or this is just our voices right there's now. There's no video. It's the voices and the smart board. Okay, so they love it. Kids, pick the message I'm leaving you. Please. Oh, pick the pen, Miss Beezer. I'm still smart board. Smile and love the math. That's love the math, Miss Beezer says. Okay. You will love the math. Right math. What are we doing? Write an equation of a line that has a slope of negative two. Yeah, it goes to the point negative one seven. It's okay. so good. Back to math, guys. Bye, Miss. <laughs> Bye, Miss Beezer. <laughs> so now you can plug in your x and y. So you plug in your seven for your y, and negative one for your x. And we are going to solve for b here. So 7 must equal a positive 2 plus our birthday. So to solve for b, we have to subtract 2. And you get b equal 5. Once you have that piece of information, then you can plug in your, x and, or your slope and your y-intercept into the equation. So we have y equals negative 2x plus 5. All right. At this point, if you will stop the video. So let me see someone running up. There you go. Go, go, stop it. And after you stop it, you are going to try to work problem 5 and 6 on your own and then come back for more. So stop the video. Stop it. No, really. Stop the video. Okay, now that you've tried those two on your own, we are going to try number five and six um, together for you to check your answers. So number five, we know that our slope is negative one, our x, y, our point is five, three. So we can plug in to our y equals mx plus b equation, we know our y is 3, our m is negative 1, our x is 5. Okay? So 3 equals negative 5 plus b. To solve for b, you're going to add 5 to both sides, and you get 8 is equal to b. So then your final equation should have been y equals negative 1x plus 8. 
Beautiful. I'm sure all of you got that right when you did it on your own. And finally, the last one we're going to do together says, uh, hi, Mr. Madden. Hi. Are you on our video? Oh, my goodness. Is that what you're doing right now? Wait, where's the video? Say? It's not a video. It's a, I'm recording my voice onto the smart board, and then it writes what I write. Oh, fantastic. Do you want to give a message to my fourth period class? Hey, fourth period class, study math. It's fun. Woo. Woo, so fun. We're on our last one together. Hooray. So we know our slow is one third, and our point that it goes through is three negative seven. So you plugged in negative seven in for your y, one third in for your m, three in for your x, and you're going to solve for b. So you know that negative seven must equal one third times three is one plus b, and if you're going to get b by itself, then you must subtract one from both sides, and you'll find that b is equal to negative 8. And once you have that piece of information, then you can write your final equation. And you'll have y equals 1 third x minus 8. You have done a fabulous job, children. Keep it up, and now you go clap, clap, clap. Yay. Yay! Now you'll begin to work on your homework. The sub will pass it out for you, and you will get started. It is due next class, and if you have any questions, come and see me tomorrow. Adios.